Earth Earth Gang. Earth Gang. You ready? Alright. It's Earth Gang. Earth Gang. And this is to a line. Texas, Houston, Texas. Austin. <laughs> Fucking with these, you gotta get your sleep. If you fucking with the drink, you gotta get your sleep. You gotta eat the right shit. Can't be out here at Popeyes every day. Cause you gonna go on stage and you gonna look bad. And you go on stage and you just feel the energy from the people, yo. It's beautiful, man. Yo, like, cause you having a whole conversation, y'all, with the y'all. Uh, she had the mic, she had it rolling. Yeah, cause that's what we do. Like, we just like gorilla warfare, y'all. Now I just ask him well, how does he feel about tour, like, you know, because this whole set is about being on tour. How's the experience been for you? It's cool. Uh, new days, new people. Society. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> what has the energy been like on stage when you was in Houston now? We in H-Town. In Houston, nah, we only did New Orleans last night. New Orleans was fire as hell, but Houston is just different when we come to Houston, man. It's like extended family. Yeah, so always. it's always love. It's always love. it's always a family reunion when we come to Houston, and it's, and it feel like that every time. You know, niggas got extra plates for you. Oh niggas yeah. Got niggas pulling out seats for you and shit. Oh. Pulling out the edibles. Oh, and let things. my man Oliver through real quick. Let my man through. Let me get the dope for my man. Sorry. Everybody say what's up, Oliver. Oliver. Hey. Now you still gotta be a creative, and you still writing while you're on tour, right? Yeah. What is that process like? Cause you're on the road now. I mean, yeah, you, you just take it how the road comes, you know? Close your eyes. Just go, 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 go. Close your eyes. Whenever something hits you, put it down. If something ain't hitting you, look out the window and enjoy the scenery. Close your eyes. Now, how is this different from when y'all go in the studio and you get ready to lay down the track? <laughs> Yo, your questions are crazy, but guess what? Are uh, they really? Yeah, no, no, those are, those are real questions. Um, I don't think on this shit. I don't know when we'll make the record that we're like, this is the one record we've been trying to make our whole life. But whatever it is, we're going to keep making stuff and keep making records. Okay, then, since you said my questions are too professional, we no, have to get too, them. not too, not too. We're professional, so, but they're going to be so, so professional, professional, make you think. So is not, not bad. Not yeah. bad, though? Okay, so I have to ask. Um, what is your favorite song on the album? Mm. Favorite song? Yeah. We ratchet. Niggas don't think we ratchet. We 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 from the west side of Atlanta, yo. Like niggas have no home training. Don't get it fucking twisted, yo. Don't get it twisted. Like, what's the craziest thing in your DMs right now? That's a white cat. Come on, man. Yay. I can't say it. I can't say it. DMs. 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 I want a DM story. Like, pull that DM up, though. Whatever. What's the last DM you got? Okay, what was the Okay, what's the most unexpected one that you like slid in there like somebody you didn't know like oh damn you was peeping it? My man You about to give it up What about you? What's the crazy? What's the last thing that was in your DMs? Um, it's so crazy because I was about to unsend one, and I got a reply right back. And it was just the reply I was looking for. I was hiding at my man. I was like, you know, but nah, I'm, I'm good. Like, mm, it's not even none of it's strictly business. I know what I want. I'm good. He know what he want, ladies. Don't be sliding his DMs with your nakedness. I mean, or maybe because he kind of like, wait, don't say that. I ain't nah. All I said was, I know what I want. Okay, well, y'all been from Atlanta, man. Yo, Atlanta got its own flavor and style. And talking about, yo, you ain't got no home training, man. How does it feel when you go to different cities and you bring in that Atlanta flavor around to everybody? Shit, like I said, it feel like a family reunion, though. Know? It feel like we can just connect with people. 
get a chance to say what's up, get a chance to let them get inside, you know, touch in with that inner Atlanta. Everybody got that Atlanta in them, so you know, we come to your city, pull that up out you real quick, let you look at it, enjoy it. You know, it's a good thing. He got the clutch right here. What the you got the same flavor too? Cause you really excited about it. What he got? What he got? What you got? He got the strawberry shortcake. Oh, he got that cookies and cream. No, I'm gonna stay personal question. We're gonna go right back to another personal question. You keep. No, I'm good. What do you got? Okay. Oh, no, he got the cookies and cream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we gonna keep it business. Okay. okay, then here we go. For breakfast. For breakfast. Cold cereal or hot meal? Hot pussy. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, what about you? What's, what's the question? I said for breakfast. What do you eat for breakfast? No, because he said hot pussy. I, I said hot meal, he said hot pussy. Yeah, pussy, pussy breakfast in the song, so you know what I'm saying? That's, that's our sponsor. Uh, Kellogg's Pussy for Breakfast. <laughs> uh, I gotta shout them out. Uh, they don't pay me, so Kellogg's Pussy for Breakfast. It's really good. It's getting toasted for like a little while. Pop up right in your face. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, just a little while, and it's ready. Nah, I, I, I never, I never had that cereal. No. I feel you. No. Okay, you stranded on an island. You could only listen to three albums for the rest of the time you're there. Nah, hell yeah, it's only three albums. What is it? What are those three? All right, I'm making an album on that island. Fuck what you heard. That's one of them that I'm listening to. Okay. Um, the second one will probably be. Let Your Lady Land by Jimi Hendrix. And then the third one will probably be. I'm drawing a blank. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, the third one will probably be like um, New America, like part two. Okay. By Erica Badu. Those, those are my three. And I'm going to have to make it happen. Like, that's a crazy question. I know. But I'm gonna make an album on that bitch and that shit gonna be fine, baby. Yeah, that'll be your most creative. You ain't got shit else to do. You what about shit you? Else to do. Um, Strand stranded on an island. Toro Emar causes of this. Um, <laughs> Jackson 5 Greatest Hits. Ooh, that's a good album! Um, oh! <laughs> Miles Davis in blue. Mike, God play Mike on the album, yo. Okay. Somebody sending me Mike in the bottle, yo. I already know. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting off the wall in the bottle, and I'ma thank them niggas, man. Okay. All right, there we go. Artists that you can see perform, dead or alive. Um, dead or alive. I had to see Bob Marley. I first thought of Prince. I never seen Prince live, but I choose Bob Marley then Prince. Cause you can really flip it. Yo, what about you? He over here. See, back in his DMs. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Artist, dead or alive, you gonna see perform. That I will go see today? Yeah, dead or alive. Uh, Queen. Yeah. Pop. I mean, that Pop would definitely be my choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number one. That like, shit would be ridiculous. What? I that would... shit wouldn't make no sense. I'd be in the front row. Nigga would be fucked up. What? That shit wouldn't make no sense. I'd just be using Pop gifts for my, um, all my, all my gifts, y'all. Just... It's a pop expression for every moment in life. One that I haven't been able to find is a sleepy pop. Pop probably didn't go to sleep. He didn't sleep. So I can't find a, a sleepy gift of my nigga pop. If you find one, send it to your boy. You heard that? Sleepy pop. Or, I don't know. That shit, don't, pop. shit don't exist. It doesn't because it never shit slept. don't exist. What did you take away from like Pac's memory? Because you know we just had his 21st anniversary of his death. And you know, he's a legend in the hip hop industry. I mean like... What, what did I take away? Like from his music and him as an artist. Yo, be yourself. Be your black, beautiful self. Do whatever. Like, there's nobody who can tell you how to live, how not to live. Pop, live fully. He learned. His soul went to a whole nother level after he died. So, be yourself. Live that shit and live that shit. And learn and grow. Man, we can check out. Earth it's Earth Gang. Earth Gang. It's a lot of people in here. Can I keep this, though? Can I ask yeah, you question? We get reunited with our lost family, man. He doesn't feel. I feel like, what's one of the movies? What's one of those movies? I'm trying to think of the movie that I'm trying to think of. 
Why are you thinking well, like, like Mighty Ducks too. But the dogs was Mighty lost. Too. The dogs was lost, and they was trying to get back home. Oh, uh, homeward bound. No, why? That's my. Hold on, get. This my nigga right there. Right? Homeward bound. I've been knowing since I was 11 years old, man. That's my people's right there. Too. Mighty Ducks too. Yeah. That's not what the dogs were trying to get home. Nah, that's his movie. That's his movie. They're trying to eat the ducks. I feel like I'm with Brown. We finally made it back. Niggas got porcupine hair all in their fucking face and shit, needles and shit. So we back. We back. You already know what it is, Yo, Atlanta I artist. Don't know about that home with Brown. Fuck out of here, man. You didn't even watch that shit, man. We gonna rock President Al. Uh, what? Art gang? House. Huh? Dreamville artist. You know where to find them.